Hey, hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's me, Rhonda. Um, my channel is called Heaven's Floor, but I think I'm getting ready to change it <laughs> or just start a new channel. But, um, I just wanted y'all to know that. First of all, I want to thank all of my new subscribers, you guys, welcome to the channel. Um, I hope that any message that you listen to that you get something important out of it i appreciate you guys coming and uh checking this uh checking my content out and you know it is it's exciting and it is it's encouraging to keep doing this because although some of my subscribers may be cross watching or like coming on my channel to hate you know what I'm saying <laughs> probably you know some type of energy like that you know you still coming to the channel so I must be doing something right so <laughs> um I appreciate you guys thank you for the likes the comments and shares yeah keep hitting that like button Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button continuously, you guys. Um, uh, donations are not necessary. I don't even ask for them. I don't even get any money for um, doing anything on this channel right now. And that's, I'm fine with that. Like, I'm cool. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, but thank you. You know, I still want to get these messages out just so y'all can, you know, just so everybody can gain some kind of understanding. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, get some, get some, some, some answers to some questions some people may have, you know, um, whether karmic or divine or whatever, whoever, whatever you are, like, it doesn't even matter. Like, I don't care. I just want to get the message out. Um, and you know, take a have it may relate to you, you know. So, um, I am back with this video because there is uh, something that I picked up as far as um, there are energies around a person. who have been uh, trying to cause problems and issues um, in your life. I've been picking that up. Um, they've been projecting like disappointment, uh, projecting negative emotions towards you. They've been projecting some type of sadness towards you, some type of misery. Um, and I'm picking it up through these are these are people who are uh, family members who are like baby daddies, karmic attachments, uh, baby daddies, baby mothers, you know, um, your baby daddies, baby mama. You know what I'm saying? Like um, these are these are individuals who has been projecting. You know, they'll watch you or, you know, see you on a platform or something. They'll, like, come to your Facebook page and stalk you and see, you know, you know what kind of energy you're in, what kind of, you know, situations you have going on. Um, some of these individuals um, mess around in, like, spell work. And even if they're not using spell work... Their thought or a uh, 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 their thought from their heart of hating you is a spell, pretty much. And this is the energy that they're sending towards you how much they hate you, how much they want you to be sad, how much they want you to be homeless, how much they want you to lose your home, how much they want you to not have anybody come and help you, how much they want you to not have friends, how much they want you to not um, be able to live the life that you're living only because they're living in such misery themselves. 
they want to project that same energy onto you. But I am here to, you know, just remind you of the fact that this is not the kind of energy that you were born to live in. Okay. This, these types of energies from these disgusting people, they're only, they're disgusting because they're jealous. They're envious. They're, they're narcissistic. They're clowns. <laughs> they're clowns because they can't entertain their own situations. They got to come and entertain yours. As in, they cannot worry about themselves. What is your problem for real? You don't want to deal with yourself. These are people that don't want to deal with themselves. So they project and send nasty energy over to you. They send spell work over to you. They send domination spirits over to you. They send you cancerous spirits to eat up your manifestations. And I'm talking about these are immediate family members and uh, uh, karmic attachments. Karmic attachments attached to your baby daddy who they trying to be attached to you. I'm trying to tell you. It's ridiculous. Some of us usually and normally will get angry about these types of things, but there is no point in getting angry because anger is an energy that they can use. So don't get angry. Ain't no point in getting angry. It's a waste of energy to be angry. Um, the Most High tells me to tell you, you need to find the guidance of how you should handle the situation in the light. Find the guidance in light. This is what he tells me. As a matter of fact, that's going to be the name of my, <laughs> my, this video. Find the guidance in light. These, listen. These types of people who project suppression or who, who send suppression spirits towards you, depression spirits towards you, domination spirits towards you, cancerous spirits towards you. They send these energies towards you all because of what? Their jealousy, their envy of the fact that you are awake or and or or the fact that and or the fact that you are making progress in your life. They don't want you to make progress in your life. They don't want you to make progress in your life because it will leave them out in the cold. It will leave them and it will leave them wherever they stand and it will make them liars. If you're making progress in your life, but you're here to, you're here to, to build up your life and live life and live it abundantly. That's what you're here to do. You're not here to live in misery and cause, uh, cause issues for other people. That's not your job. That's not what they supposed to be doing. But if they if they went and, you know, if they went and, and, and dealt with themselves, they understand that that's not what they're supposed to be doing. If they went within and dealt with who they are, they would understand that that's not what they're supposed to be doing. But for whatever reason, it's just way too hard for them to. It's just way too hard. It's way too hard. It's way too hard for them to 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 heal themselves. It's way too hard to go within themselves and deal with themselves. It's way too hard. You know why? Because people don't like to see that they are envious and they are jealous. And but uh, listen, listen. And that they try to cause instability to other people. That they are, uh, what you call them, uh, they, they hold people back. That they are delayers. They are in, uh, enable, 
enablers. People don't want to see that. People don't want to see that within themselves. But, you know, I'm here to tell you, you that's what you are. That's what you are. That's how you are. You're miserable. You're unstable yourself. You you don't have any stability yourself. You're mentally disabled. <laughs> you know, you have issues. You know what I'm saying? You 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 are jealous. You're in you're envious. You're causing in you're causing uh instability and 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 misery in other people's lives because you like to hold people back. If you recognize these things within yourself, karmic or narcissist or whatever you are, if you recognize these things within yourself. The, the 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 moment you recognize these things within yourself, you're able to deal with yourself. It ain't like it's going to kill you. It's not going to kill you to go within and deal with yourself. What are you so afraid of? And then when, let me tell you something. When you do recognize these things within yourself, you don't, Continue to use those things because those things are not good for you to use. They're bad. You don't continue to use them. You figure out how to remove them. These 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 jealousy uh, spirits or envy spirits or uh, disappointment spirits or misery spirits or negative emotional spirits. Or sadness spirits. You find a way to remove them. You don't keep them. And not remove them as in put them off on somebody else. Because they're still a projection. And you can still catch karma for that. You remove them. You release those feelings. You release those, those, those people who may have put those who may be projecting those um uh those uh emotions towards you those energies towards you if 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 someone is projecting them towards you you find a way to release that person i'm just giving you the advice because you either Stop doing the projections and the, the, you know, and sending different spirits towards people or you will find yourself in a world of hell. You're going to find yourself fucked up for continuously doing the things that you do, especially if you don't, for one, you don't have permission to be in someone's energy doing that. You're just there doing it. Then two, the shit will backfire on you. That type of shit can back, it will backfire back to you. It will come right back to you. And three, the fact that you sending all of, you sending all of this nonsense to other people, it only makes them stronger. And those emotions and feelings that you're projecting and sending out comes right back to you. It backfires. I'm just saying you lose either way. No matter how long it takes a person to get rid or um, are able to fight off the, the cancers and the 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 nasty projections you're saying, it will always come back to its owner. It will always come back to its sender. It will always return to sender. 
because this is something like when when the universe begins to kind of sift through everybody, sift through all the things that people have done and try and, and the universe begins to balance things, balance people's lives, balance people's uh, energies, just bring balance to every and any situation ever done on the earth, on the planet, whatever the, whatever the case in any dimension, when the universe begins to bring the balance, the wrongdoings that were done to one person will return to the sender who caused the wrongdoings, meaning any spell work, any magic, any, um, any, you know, any, any, anything that, that caused another person some kind of harm energetically, mentally, physically, emotionally, it will all be balanced out and returned back to its owner. It's called karma and it's justice for the person you caused the harm to. I'm just telling you how it goes so you'd understand because it seems like people just do not understand how this works. So no matter how you try to dominate an individual, if they're not supposed to be dominated, they won't be dominated if their light is not meant for domination by a karmic, especially, or a narcissist. It won't happen no matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you do. You will never dominate them. You may see um, a little something of this and that, that's only because, you know, God allowed certain things to go on. God allowed certain things to happen for certain puzzles to fit in a place. Okay. But trust and believe, the, the, the moment you sent out any projection of hate, even if you sitting around your house all day being paid to project negativity towards somebody, you lost. Because all that shit is going to come right back to you. It's coming out. It's all coming back. It's all going to come back. It's all coming back. It's all coming back. And it's not even a, a something that that needs to be like debated. Why? Because it's a universal law. It's a universe it's a it's a it's a it's it's a automatic it's an automatic law. It's auto, like it's it's like autopilot. It's going to go how it's supposed to go regardless. No matter, you know, it doesn't matter. It, it, I mean, it doesn't matter if it upsets, upsets you. The thing to me, though, is how dare people like, and I'm going to talk about this in another video, but how dare people like send out negative energy and then when they get it back they want to play victim about it I don't understand how you Karmic have the right to be angry at something you sent out I don't understand make it make sense to me So, so 
you know, just like I said, like people, these are these are people that are close to you, sending these negative energies towards you. And in my last video, I said, listen, if you cut off a person, if you cut off, you know, even if it's family members, if you cut them off, you cut them off. Like, ain't no, ain't no coming back because whether people want to realize it or not, the people closest to you are the ones that sent darkness towards you out of their own jealousy or envy for you. So we need to be careful. We need to learn how to cleanse our energies, drink water, work out, whatever the case. But we need to learn how to cleanse our energies all the time to remove any, you know, disconnect from any um, karmic attachments. Remove all karmic attachments. Like remove, you know, uh, uh, detach or cut the cords. On some of these energies that's trying to stay attached to you. Cut the cord. Energy cleanse. Cut cords. Um, prayer. Spend time with the divine. Spend time with the most high. Talk to him. Meditate. You know, those are ways to 2141 of my time. Those are ways to keep um, your line clear with the divine and to just be relieved of some of the projections and the ignorance that you get from these attachments that then somehow attach themselves to you. 1733 on my timer. On the clock, sorry. So, I just wanted to put that message out there, y'all. Um, I'll be back with another one later. I'll talk to y'all later. Love you. Bye. Peace. <laughs>